The Family in Kyoto. One Japanese Girl Got Freedom. Written by Hidemi Woods. Narrated by Hidemi Woods. If you don't want to. From kindergarten to the lower grades, I had suffered from insomnia. I hated going to kindergarten and then to school too strongly to sleep on school nights. As the morning to go there approached, I felt more and more nervous and tense. I would be wide awake in futon no matter how eager I was to fall asleep, watching glittering patterns on the back of my eyelids for hours. Tears ran through my cheeks into my ears during those long nights. When it dawned and the room was filled with the gray of the morning, I could finally doze a while. I slept beside my grandparents, as my parents were occupied with my little sister in a different room. Before going to sleep, I would try to be near my mother as long as I could, because she used to be the last one that retreated to her bedroom at night. But soon, I was to be prodded into going to my grandparents' room to sleep. I once found the courage to confide to my mother that I was having insomnia. She scoffed at it and said anyone could sleep by just closing his or her eyes. Her advice was to close my eyes. I wondered how dumb she thought I was since I did so to sleep every night. She didn't take it seriously and so I kept staying awake on weeknights secretly. Sunday nights were the worst. The thought that a long week at school would start next morning made it undoubtedly impossible for me to sleep. My grandparents used to watch TV in futon before going to sleep. Their favorite drama was on Sunday nights, and the end of the drama meant my grandmother fell asleep. I can still hear in my ears the sad tune of the drama's ending. My grandfather would read a little after that. When the light by his pillow was turned off was a signal that he would also go to sleep and I would be left alone awake in futon. One night, he noticed I wasn't asleep in the middle of the night. You're still awake. He was surprised. I confessed that I couldn't sleep, and he simply said, Don't sleep then. While I couldn't believe what I had just heard, he explained, You don't have to sleep if you don't want to. I had never thought that way. I didn't have to sleep. Like magic. His words cured my insomnia, and I have fallen asleep easily ever since. Audiobook, Japanese Dream by Hitomi Woods on sale at online stores or apps. Apple, Audible, Google Play, Nook Audiobooks, 43 available distributors in total. Audiobook, The Family in Kyoto. One Japanese Girl Got Freedom by Hitomi Woods on sale at online stores or apps. Apple Books, Google Play, Audible, 43 available distributors in total. Audiobook, Living in Kyoto by Hitomi Woods. Now on sale in online stores. 44 available distributors. Apple, Google Play, Amazon Audible, or else. Audiobook, 
ステッカー T シャツトレーナーパーカー文具その他いろいろエリゼンドットコムで見てみてね。erizen.com erizen.com エリゼンドットコム英語聞き流しリスニング、英語テキストと MP3 ダウンロード、その他の物語はホームページからお聞きいただけます。88thpp.com 88thpp.com